For more on this expert analysis from Tom Rath, a former New Hampshire Attorney General and Senior Advisor to multiple Republican presidential campaigns. Thanks for being here with us. Appreciate it. Thank you, Steve. So let's start briefly with uh, kind of the, the gravity of the moment. What do you make of what we just witnessed? Well, it's extraordinary. It's historic, but it's also terribly sad. It's the first time our process, political process, has been so impacted by the criminal process. Uh, when I was Attorney General, my colleagues afterwards, we always took the position that if we were going to indict somebody, we had to be ready to try the case the next day. There's going to be a, a huge period of time between this moment and when they actually go to trial. And that's when I think we're going to see the, the strain put on the political process in a way that we've never seen before in this country. We've had tough races and uh, people who raised uh, different emotions in the populace, but we never had a moment like this. And I'm not sure any of us uh, can really plot exactly what's going to happen. What do you make of the politicization argument that this is uh, one side essentially using the Justice Department to prevent the other side from winning a race? I don't believe that's right. I mean, I understand why you would say it politically, but I think the people the, in the Justice Department who've done this, and particularly folks like uh, Smith and all, are folks who know how to, ha have taken an oath and know how to do their job. If, if this were a prosecution based solely on political advantage, A, they have miscalculated, and B, it, it will be a disaster if that is the way it turns out. I believe they made a judgment on the basis of the evidence they saw, and that we all saw on January 6th, which is one of the most horrific days in the history of our republic. And they then traced it back and have got a case that they believe not only could they get an indictment on, we used to say I could indict a ham sandwich, but it, it, that they could actually go and prove. And I think you have to be ready to try it the next day. Uh, the former president's going to, you know, use his extraordinary ability with the media to dominate things. But the, at the end of the day, sooner or later, they will get into a courtroom. And whether that is before the election or after or whatever, I can't tell you. But then we'll see how good the Justice Department is. And you've had experience in both worlds, the legal world, the political world. Uh, how does he handle this, where he is both a criminal defendant in multiple cases, but also the, uh, uh, also the leading candidate for president? Well, he's not going to uh, in any way change his way of doing things. I mean, he is uh, full speed ahead. He's aggressive. He's going to trivialize these results. He's going to demonize his opponents. I, I don't think there's going to be any change in that. What he better be worried about, though, is I don't think he's ever come up in real life against somebody who is as good as Smith is, who is as careful as this Justice Department is. This was not brought on a whim. It would be the worst thing for the Biden campaign if that's what they did. This is brought because they believe they had to make a point. They had criminal uh, action going on by this former president. And I keep going back to January 6th and watching what we watched and people, you know, jamming flagpoles through the doors and assaulting federal uh, officers. Uh, that is a moment in our history which is, sh A, shameful, but B, it can't be ignored. And to the extent the, the evidence led them to believe that this, the, the former president had a significant role in it, they were right to bring the indictment. We have a process. That you get indicted, now you'll get tried. And we'll see what that goes. But I, I don't think they went about this lightly, and I would be very surprised if it was based on political advantage. Former New Hampshire Attorney General Tom Rath, thank you. Appreciate your expert analysis. Yes, sir.